Hey guys, Gundam Know It All here. Um, it's been a little over a year since I did my last collection video, and since then it has grown quite a bit. Um, so I figured now would be a good time to go ahead and release an update. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started, and we'll be starting where we started last time uh, with our uh, Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny collection. Now this isn't all of it, uh, the other half is on another shelf, but we'll get to that later. Um, so right here we're going to go ahead and start... Uh, we have six goo as ours. Um, we have two standard goo as. We have three goof ignited. Uh, we have three Zaku gunners. One Lunamaria hawk here, so four in total for the Zaku warrior. We have a Heine Wesson Flusses Zaku phantom in the back. Uh, Isaac Jewel Zaku phantom. Uh, Heine Wesson Flusses goof ignited, and we have an Andrew Waltfelt Gaia Gundam. We're gonna have three saviors. We're gonna have two Providence Gundams. We're going to have three Force Impulse, one Sword. Haven't acquired the Blast yet. Um, we have the Freedom Gundam and the Justice Gundam, three Miguel Jin, and four Baku. Uh, coming over here, we're going to have our Shars Counterattack for the Federation, Ayug, and Titans. So starting over here, we're going to have the Japanese Jagan, the American Jagan, the EMSI uh, New Gundam, and a standard MSI New Gundam hiding in the back there. We're going to have the Double Zeta Gundam, we're going to have the EMSI Zeta Gundam, the Hyakushiki EMSA, and two version, one, two version 1 Zeta Gundams, and the Gundam Mark II EMSA. We're going to have the Hazel Custom, uh, followed by a Methus, and two Red Rick Dias. We're going to have three Standard Color Ashimars, uh, fourth Green Divers Ashimar, and the Titans Use RX-78-2. Uh, we're going to have three Galbaldi Betas, uh, three Marisai, and we're going to have four Gundam Mark II Unit 1s. Uh, these are going to be put, uh, put into a custom project pretty soon. Uh, they'll be getting turned into Barzam Customs as soon as I can get good. Uh, we've got seven standard equipment Hyzaks, a uh, eighth right here that is custom. We have the O, and we have Gates' Bound Dock. So... My Titan's Force is quite sizable. My AUG still kind of light. Need to work on that. Um, but unfortunately, they never made a Nemo, so I'm going to have to scratch build one. Uh, coming up here, we're going to have the Lil Lily Marlene Zanzibar, the Pyrgin uh, Musai, the Albion, a little Dom hiding right over there, uh, the Zacrello, and three of the Big Row. Now, coming down here, we're going to have the Xeon collection. It has grown uh, quite a bit. Not as much as my Federation shelf, uh, which we'll get to next. But, yeah, this is a pretty strong Xeon force, if uh, I do say so myself. So, coming right over here, we're going to have a Japanese Rambo Rao Zaku 1, a Japanese Zaku 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 standard Zaku 1s, 3 black TriStar Zaku 1s, 2 American Rambo Rao's, Two Zaku 2 Japanese release and one Shar Zaku 2 uh, Japanese release. And then we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 standard equipment Zaku 2 version 1s. Uh, we have two more over here with uh, Zaku 1 shoulders and a third with spike shoulders. We're going to have a custom uh, Black Tristar's high mobility type Zaku 2. We're going to have two of the true red Zaku 2 and two of the pink and three camouflage Zaku's. Uh, I'm working on getting him a shield, bear with me. Uh, we've got three of the Black Tristar's uh, high mobility types with spike, uh, with the knuckle shields. And then we have a uh, Japanese goof and four American goofs with a Japanese goof custom in the back. We have three Zaku 2 version 2s, Shar Zaku 2 version 2, Garmazabi Zaku 2 version 2, and the Yumiko Shaku use Zaku 2 version 2, the love love Zaku. Can't get enough of that, it's hilarious. Um... We have seven of the Zaku 2 EMSA high mobility, um, not high mobility types, I'm sorry, um, EMSA real types. We have two of the Elliot Lem high mobility types, a Shin Matsunaga hiding in the back, a Gion, two Gogs, an American Kempfer, and three Japanese Kempfers. Coming over here, we're going to have five Ock guys, uh, three standard Zagoks, and three American, uh, two American and one Japanese uh, Shar Zagok. Uh, one of them is just discolored, so it makes it a little different. Um, we have two of the American release Dom, one Japanese, uh, one Japanese, uh, three Desert Doms, uh, version ones, and then we're going to have our version two Doms. Still working on getting a Rick, uh, Rick Dom, but that's going to be a while. Uh, right here, we've got one, two, three, four, five standard Gelgoogs. 
We have an EMSI Gelgoog with custom skirt armor. Uh, we have two standard uh, Shars Gelgoogs, uh, this, and then a third one right here. This uh, front one has custom standard uh, body parts on it. Uh, same with the fourth one back there. We have two uh, Gyogu Cannons. We have Gato's Gyogu with the spare uh, Gyogu Cannon backpack. Uh, Johnny Rinnan's High Mobility Gyogu. And the Castle Rim Daiku uh, Shar Custom Gundam. We have three Zox, one American, two Japanese. And that's not going to finish up our Xeon uh, collection, but we'll get to the last bit um, sh uh, later on. Right over here, we're going to have our Federation Shelf. And I have amassed quite the GM army in a matter of one year. It has grown exponentially. So starting right over here, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, standard American uh, GMs. A t uh, ninth one, a Japanese one in the back over there. We're going to have two real type Gundams. We're going to have a G3 Gundam. And those are all version ones. We're going to have uh, three 1.5 Gundams, and we're going to have a custom land combat GM uh, right up front over here. We're going to have four of the Gundam uh, Gun Cannon 108, and then one 109 and two Japanese. We're going to have another Gun Cannon in the back over here. It's a custom purple and blue Gun Cannon, uh, courtesy of Josh Serna. Excellent work, man. Uh, you guys should really check him out. Uh, two real-type Gun Cannons, three EMSI real-type Gundams, and then the prototype Gundam. And we've got two GM version 2s. And then we have one, two, three, four, five of the American release Gundam version 2. We have three of the Japanese. One G3, one C3, and the G05 and G04 over here. We have a custom battle scarred uh, ground Gundam. Uh, it's got this green tint to it. Uh, another custom by Josh Sherna. And then we have a standard ground Gundam battle scarred with a... Uh, Standard shield. We have four Alex Gundams, uh, two with armor, two without. And we have two of the Karen Joshua ground Gundam and a special greenish brown uh, ground Gundam, another custom by Josh Erna. Uh, two Desert Gundams and two custom uh, ground Gundams with uh, Desai shoulders and Gundam 1.5 heads. We have three more Karen Joshua. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14 ground type Gundams total, uh, standard equipment, and then we have three Easy 8s, uh, American release, and one Japanese. And over here, we're going to have the GMs along with the 0083s and the gun tanks, and we'll get to all that. So, right over here, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten ground gms uh this 10th one right here has ground gm sniper shoulders and a standard shield um we're gonna have four uh gm snipers right here and four more over here so eight in total we're gonna have uh three gpo1 version ones they are missing beam sabers um but i can get those fairly easily uh we're gonna have one two three four five six seven eight uh nine gm customs total with uh, five uh, GM Cannon 2s to back them up. We have the GPO-1s of Fantasy's Full Burnian. We have two of the GPO-1 uh, version 2, and we have uh, two standard GPO-2 version 1s, uh, and then a Battle Scarred version, and the Japanese release version 2, so it has the non-folding shield, uh, the larger thrusters, the beam savers that pop out in the bigger bazooka. We have a real-type gun tank right over there in the back, we have four standard gun tanks, and we have three full armor Gundams. Coming right down here, we're going to have our Shars Counterattack uh, counter Zeon collection. So we're going to have the Sazabi. We're going to have two of Gyune's Jagdoga, one gold, one yellow variant. And then Quest's silver variant of the Jagdoga. We're going to have two lime green Giradogas, two dark green Giradogas, and resins Giradoga. And right here, we're going to have our wing collection. So we're going to have two of the Magonaut Core. Uh, two of the Wing Zero Custom Endless Waltz, one yellow, one gold. We're going to have two Epions right over there. We're going to have our Death Scythe Hell uh, yellow version, our standard Death Scythe with gold uh, uh, variant. We're going to have the Shenlong. We're going to have the Wing Gundam version 1, the Wing Zero TV version, the Death Scythe Hell TV version, the version 2 Ultron. And we're going to have two of the version 1 Ultron. We're going to have two of the Sandrock Kai, one gold, one yellow. Uh, that back one there that's yellow is the version two, so it's double jointed. We have two of the Nataku, uh, one yellow, one gold. 
And we have two of the Sandrock, uh, Sandrock Endless Waltz, one gold, one yellow. We have the Tall Geese 2, the Tall Geese 1, uh, two purple Leos, and two green Leos. And coming over here, we're going to have a continuation of the wing uh, collection along with the G Gundam. So we're going to have the Wing Gundam version 2, we're going to have the uh, the Heavy Arms version 2, and then we're going to have four of the Endless Waltz Heavy Arms. Uh, maybe hard to see, uh, but the front one is yellow, the back three are gold. Uh, the second one right here is the Battle Scarred version. Uh, right up front over here, we're going to have three version 1 uh, Heavy Arms, uh, one gold, two yellow. We're going to have two Rising Gundams, we're going to have two Shining Gundams, two Master Gundams, and two Bolt Gundams. That back master is in hyper mode. Uh, we're going to have two Rose Gundams, one Maxter, uh, one Dragon Gundam, two of the Royal Gundam, one DG Cell, one Knot, the Mandala Gundam, and the Neros hiding right down there. We're going to have four of the Dark Army, two of the Final Form Devil Gundam, and the Ultimate Gundam. This thing is great. Absolutely love it. It's just a brick, but it's so cool looking. And right down here, we're going to have our Gallops along with our Lagoons. So we're going to have uh, two American Gallops right here with four Lagoons on top of them. We're going to have a third American Gallop with two more Lagoons, so six Lagoons in total, and the Japanese Gallop along with a Zamo, helping them right there. All right, so that's going to go ahead and do it for this shelf right here. Let's go ahead and move on to the next section. And that's going to be right over here. So this is going to be all of our uh, Federation support vehicles. So we're going to have two Gun Parries. We're going to have a Tin Cod Fighter along with uh, three of the Core Booster, uh, Core Fighter 2s. We're going to have six hover trucks in total. Five of them are standard. One is a Battle Scarred missing the turret. Uh, we have two Type 61 tanks. And then right over here, we're going to have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven standard balls. We're, um, we're going to have a black custom one over here and a red custom one over here as well. We're going to have uh, four of the G Fighter. Uh, two of the core booster and four uh, jet core booster twos. And then we're going to have six core fighters in total and two of the launch. Um, coming right over here, we're going to have our robot Damashi collection. And we are going to go through it this time. So we have the robot Damashi Buster Gundam. We have the uh, Strike Gundam. Uh, we have the 00 Quanta, the 007 Swords, the Crossbone Full Cloth uh, X1, the X2, the Harrison Martin F91 Skullheart Edition. And we have a Dual Gundam with Assault Shroud Armor hiding in the back over there. The Testament Gundam, the Alvaron, and the Turn A Nanoskin version. Uh, we've got the uh, Mudrock right over here, the Sazabi. Um, and we have a Standard Unicorn over there, the Age 1 Normal, the Denengon. Angelo Stopper's Gira Zulu, the Double X, the Age One Titus, and the Victory Gundam. Absolutely great. Uh, this Mudrock right here is a fixed figuration, by the way. All right, so we're going to come over here and finish up our seed collection along with our Double O. So we have a Strike Rouge right over here, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight strikes, I believe, that are standard equipment. Uh, these three right over here. Um, if you've seen the last video, they have Guff Ignited legs. This front one has dual shoulders, God Gundam head, and Guff Ignited arms to denig uh, denigrate it as a commander of sorts. We're going to have the Blitz Gundam up front right over here. Six strike daggers, a custom strike with the astray head and virtue shoulders, uh, Frankenstein's astray in the back over there. Uh, we're going to have two of the Akatsuki, one with uh, the uh, uh, earth equipment, so it has the uh, wing binders and the plasma cannons. And we have the other one with the uh, Dragoons. We have two Dark Dagger L's uh, equipped with the uh, jet, um, uh, the uh, Flight Pack. Um, we have two of the Neo Roanoke Windham equipped with the Doppelhorn Cannons. And we have four of the uh, Jet Dagger L's over here. We have three Dynamis Gundam, a Strike Nor in the back over there. We have two of the Throne Eins, one Throne Zwei, and then we have the Exia Gundam along with the Virtue and Nine Tieran. I love the Tieran. If you can get your hands on one, it's a great figure. Coming down here, we're going to go ahead and finish off our Xeon collection with the Elmeth and two Xeon. And we're going to have an HEM Pro Destroy Gundam with the Sky Grasper, a Core Splendor, and some of the Impulse equipment. So the four drones equipped with the three Force uh, uh, backpacks and the Sword Backpack. 
below the Sky Grasper is going to have the Ale Pack. And down here, we're going to have three standard Dodai's, a Dodai 2, a Gattle Fighter. And we're going to go ahead and have seven of the uh, Dop Fighter and an eighth one being the Garmazabi Custom. We're going to have nine Magella Attack Tanks. This front one right here, as you can see, is going to have the Zaku Tank configuration with a spare... Uh, Zaku 2, uh, Shar Zaku 2 uh, version 1 that's missing its shoulders and hose pipes. But I thought that brought the look together. Um, we're going to go ahead and come over here. And this is going to be our Robot Damashi Kasi Gundam, the new Gundam, the uh, Unicorn and Banshee. And this Unicorn is a bit special in that if you put it under a black light or a UV light, um, it's going to go ahead and light up where you see all that pink is, uh, along with the uh, V-Fin. Uh, it looks absolutely great. Um, sometime I may try and do a uh, video showing that off if I can manage it. Um, right here we're going to have our model kit collection. So uh, a little hard to see back there, but we got a GMC type. Uh, we have a early gun tank uh, from Gundam the Origin, two of the Desert Nemo, the North American deployment for the local type, uh, and we have the GM Striker and the early gun cannon. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have two high gogs. And one Zagok right over here. We're going to have the Masquerade Epion and the Masquerade Heavy Arms Endless Waltz version. We're going to have the uh, uh, Grey's Eynes and the Kamaris Trooper. We're going to have the Fenix Gundam. We're going to have uh, MSI Offshoot uh, Burai, two Assault Kingdom Gundam Mark IIs, one AU, one Titans, uh, Shard Zaku, two Assault Kingdom. We're going to have this little SD figure right over here. We're going to have a GM3 and the Ground Gundam S type from uh, Thunderbolt there in the back. The Hazel 2, and we're going to have the Atlas Gundam and Full Armor Gundam with uh, a tiny Hazel right here, uh, the Double Zeta and Unicorn SDs. And coming down here, we're going to go ahead and have a Barzem on top of a ba uh, base jabber. We're going to have the Red Frame Astray, a Xeonography Gyogu Cannon. Uh, is the Victory 2 and the Harrison Martin F91. We have two Rock Hylooms, one Missing Fins. Uh, we have a Spare Musai, and we have some MechWarrior stuff down here. Um, the reason I'm showing this off is because I've got this gift from a family member. It's a Goof Custom made out of uh, washers and screws. It's basically a Gundam made out of nuts and bolts. I wouldn't recommend holding him because, uh, one, he's heavy and he's really sharp, but... You know, maybe that's cool, maybe it's not, but I thought that was, uh, that was really neat showing that off real quick. Um, and finally, we're going to get to the big stuff right over here. So we have the Dendrobium, uh, Rigazi on top of the base jabber, and a spare base jabber over there. The Flying Armor, the Psycho Gundam, and the Big Zom, and the second Dendrobium. Yeah, I have two. Um, this one... Uh, was caught in a terrible accident falling off the shelf uh, while construction was being done on our house, so I had to get a second one to replace it. Um, yeah, that's going to go ahead and cover our collection uh, video here. Um, probably the only other thing I could probably show off is the graveyard that I have of figures. Um, so if anyone has some spare Ground Gundam shoulders, uh, even if they're not, uh, ground GM uh, color or desert. Yeah, yeah, I could I could use those um, A lot of dead guys in here. I'm trying to rebuild them uh, bear with me. All right guys um, Thank you for watching the video. I don't know why you stuck around this long, but if you did thank you um, Let me know what you think uh, If I should start doing reviews for the figures if there's anything in particular you want me to take a look at um, And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye